All right, launching in three, two, one. What up? It's on. I need to get a lens on it. No, we're good. Is the red light on? Yeah. Yeah, okay, red light's on. Right. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the Renews River. We're uh, at the parking lot to, uh, well, McGraw Brook, actually. We got a good five minute hike ish in, if we can find our way in to where we're going to camp for tonight. We got Knuckles on the camera today, and we got a special member of Brightway at Buffalo in the background. We'll introduce him later. But uh, yeah, excited to be out here. Beautiful day, sunny, no complaints. We'll catch up with you when we get towards the river. Probe me. Thanks. Thanks, Knuckles. Good probe. That's what we have here, folks. Good old fashioned snow probular. Straight up from the mountains of British Columbia of Canada. And uh, what we're gonna do is just show you folks a quick snow depth uh, as to what we had to, what we are going to deal with and how deep it actually is here. So, assume the probe, adding pressure to probe. <laughs> so, it? I'd put it at about 75 centimeters of snowpack is uh, what we got back here today. There's our hole. She's dug out pretty good. But he died in the making of this hole. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and uh, pitch up a tent and make home for the night. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of snow back here. I thought he was. You're getting there, buddy. Okay. Don't give up. I believe in you. I'm over it. Hey, Nick, what are you doing? Oh, can I see? No. Oh. <laughs> no fun. A nice stream, dude. That's prompt. You know what they say about a good stream? <laughs> you didn't see how many times I failed. I just started hearing it. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> no, that's going to hit him. Lay it down. Lay it 
big enough? Yeah, literally just like it is actually like <coughs> just. Got you a power, Ricky. <clears throat> the only power? So the pole has to be on bare ground, or? Yes. Okay, uh, I go in now. Probably gonna need a shovel. So we need to get I was thinking it looks like you might not be a little centered or maybe you should move the pole over that way a little bit is what I was thinking maybe from here. No, what I'm saying is the pole has to stay where it's at. We need to adjust the pegs and everything to make it. Oh. So you guys need to start pulling it tight. Like put it down to your hand, make sure it doesn't flap over. And uh, I'll just come around and start staking it. That's all it is. Okay. Yeah. That's real. Okay. Um. Just give it a little bit of slack and then I can just leave yourself a bit of an adjustment there, Nick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. You know what's up. How far do the guy is go? Pretty far. So that's the next phase, we have big gross holes. Yeah, but honestly, man, the way uh, the way we've dug down, it's super sexy. You hold that. That's looking like a tent. Um, can you toss me a peg, Rick? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. I flung out of my hand. on snow over top of the flaps later too or yes but not much like we'll get the guy out it's on first and then really it's just like this is probably one of the best pitches i've had on this so far how you doing over there nick oh. good man i just need something to beat it in <laughs> kneecap he's not happy on that, buddy. all right folks maximum effort has been put in here we have ourselves a home knuckles over there Working on the guy outs, and uh, we got so much snow, our guy outs are gonna have to go down to the ground. It was 60 centimeters of snow, so worth a snoo. So, we're just working on getting them out, and then uh, the plan is gonna be to get inside, get the stove going, get some dinner cooking. And behind me, we got the uh, oh, the great right Breffero. What do you want, Nick? What do you want? Don't you not, you never interrupt me, don't worry, you never interrupt me, ever. That guy ruins shots. That hurt. You all right? Woo! Great Red Buffalo, tired. Great Red Buffalo is not allowed to swear in videos. Just put the 18 plus, it's fine. No, we don't swear. Ah, uh, PG-13. Let's go see Knuckles over here. Let's go see his, his anchor. What you got here, you got a nice uh, stick. Is that, uh, is that stick native? To uh, North America? I believe this tree. Oh, that tree there. Nice. So we are. Maybe that one. 
We're using organic substance here today for the uh, Anchorage procedure. Oh yeah, uh, is your hole big enough? Yep. So Nick's digging out an anchor, and he's got his stick there, and there's a little spot for his, his line, and then there's that guy over there. And then, uh, yeah, let's get that on the ground. Nice and point. He only messed up in one aspect. But it's okay. You guys, do you guys see what he did? I don't know if he's figured it out yet. What did I do? Is it not straight? No, it's straight. It'd be nice if I could adjust it. Yeah, you can. That's why this is good. Oh, there it is! He's it. Okay, he's good. He's good. Decent. I do really love... You don't need to go too tight yet. Okay, yeah, good. I was like, I was gonna call you out on it, but Knuckles knows what's up. This is why we camp with Knuckles. I don't know where the buffalo is. Buffalo! Yeah. Hey. You alive? No. No? You know how many tents I had to set up and tell us, man? So tell much. us? Tell us. Why don't you tell us how many tents you set up at Tell us? Oh, God. Probably like, probably like 20. You said 20. 20! I've set up a tent or two in my time. All right, so this is uh, Casa de Bromanso. Oh yeah. And uh, we're just gonna go around the outskirts here, get each one of these guy outs positioned and get some of the slack out of the tent. And then uh, in goes the stove. Gray White Buffalo is working on some wood. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm filming and coordinating. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll probably put the camera down and help. What's up, knackers? Not much, man. Chilling. Testing out the accommodation. Oh, now look at you, dude. You put the camera on and it made me mess up. Good job. Man, pressure. so much pressure. Pressure. Come on, Buffy, eh? <laughs> Yo, great wife, Pharaoh. Row. Chili's cooking. Oh, I better turn that off. This is nice and warm over here. You like it? Yeah. How's it smell? It's gonna be a cozy sleep. 100%. Look at that. Oh, look at that chili progressing. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now we're gonna go add to tomato paste. No, it's crushed tomatoes. Ooh, crushed tomatoes. Crushed tomatoes. We're gonna add this red stuff here. Oh. Scrape it out. Don't splash me. Oh, I wish I could. No. And oh, it's good. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna have to shut that screensaver mode off. What, the screen shut off? Yeah. Yeah, it is a bummer, eh? Kind of annoying, yeah. Oh, we're getting close towards the edge here, Ricky. Not even close. Not even close, he says. Never mind, I don't know. The edge of what? Oh, that, hinting that the pot was getting full. Now we're gonna ingredients. Add, do we strain Reactions. this out? Nope. Liquid and all. Liquid and all. Yeah. Oh, beans. You have to flip over black beans. What you got against black beans, Nick? No, nothing against black beans. Oh, but it's just I I'm not. Buddy. It's the like the refried, like just like a uh, beans. You know what I mean? I don't like just eating beans. But when they're in something else and you're not a majority. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. I'm just gonna get the. I'll stand up and get some. Oh, sure. oh no, man. The the in between commentary is I'll just let that cook beautiful. For like the next hour, probably. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Boys. I can only imagine like what someone would smell if they're just like a black and white or something. Be like, is someone cooking? <laughs> well, I guess. Yes, we are cooking chili. Do you have a wood stove in that? Yes, yes we do. I'm still waiting for the drunk guy to bring us back a load of cedar. <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> he said it about a hundred times. Yeah, he did. All right, folks. Um. We got chili. 
one pan miracle chili and uh mm, she is looking let me turn the light on here oh that's a red light there that's what we want we've got some it's looking pretty good some black beans in there we got red peppers we got onions two pounds of beef and uh, what do we use for seasoning there, Great White Buffalo? Uh, we got chili powder, cumin, and a little bit of cayenne pepper, and then salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. I we can say that, right? Yeah, we can say that. Yeah, I don't know. Salt and pepper. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna dish up some servings here, old knuckles, as my buddy Billy would have a habit of doing. Went on power saving mode for a little bit. He I did. did. I took a little power nap. <laughs> yeah. We're slowly teaching the uh, the old the old bushwhacker here how to actually cook something other than craft dinner and alphagetti. We've shown him. He did all the work. He cooked it all. So there's progress. There's hope for him yet. Yeah. I put the ingredients in the pot and then I stirred it. He did. He didn't trust us <laughs> touching. He he didn't trust trust us to uh, touch anything on the uh, stove. He is a stove master. Oh, did you guys see? I got a new fan. It actually moves like a decent amount of heat, like a foot away you can feel it, it's just... It's got a CFM rating on it actually. It's oh really? Yeah. A cubic feet per minute? Yeah, yeah. it'll move um, 100 CFM. It'll flow. So it's an eco fan, I grabbed it from, um, I can't remember. Rappy Tire or Home Hardware, one of the two I imagine. Yeah, I think it was Canadian Tire that I got this one. <clears throat> like a hundred bucks. Yeah, stove's doing good, boys are doing good. Food smells delicious, so we are gonna cram that into our gullets, mm, and uh, yeah, we will check back in a bit. I never, I never do the outros right. I don't. Feel How do we pause it? You just hit top the top button. button. Well, boys, bon appetit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks for coming out with me. Yeah. Thanks for having the show, man. Mm -hmm. Let me make a mockery of you guys on film. That's fine. <laughs> make a what? A mockery. Oh, you know, it is weird. It is weird being on film, dude. It's it's I I I just I enjoy it. I pretend like it's not there. You're not making too much of a mockery. No, I was just messing with it. Oh yeah, it feels cool. It's it's nice when you don't feel awkward when the camera's around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's like the ideal. That's always been the goal. Nailed this. Yeah, this is super good. I'm just mixing in my my cheese here. And like I was saying earlier, like I, I don't like jump. To having chili a lot of the time. And this is good chili. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why don't I cook like this all the time? Dude, told you how simple it is. So canoeing, we're gonna have some shit figured out. <laughs> you be quiet over there. You know you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I do. We'll just fly him out each time. <laughs> no wait. Knuckles, you should be taking notes. I've even done better than just crap dinner. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Last time Nick came camping with me, I had craft dinner and then I gave him a thing of dehydrated food. <laughs> that stuff's pretty good. I don't mind that most of the time. It's pretty pretty tasty. But like back on my last few canoe trips and stuff. Now like I'm older, like I just mm. it's something about like a wood stove and like a nice hot meal like this. <clears throat> I will say there's something about eating out of like a cast iron pan that's just mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's like the difference of cooking on like a charcoal barbecue as pro like propane or gas. Yeah, probably something walking through the water. Maybe. Well, okay, what was it again? Something watery. Something watery? Like when water, like when water makes a kaplunk when you when you throw a rock in the water? Kinda. See That's those? the Dungarvan Whooper. No, it's not. That's how you know he's there. He throws rocks in the water. That's the first sign. Probably just an animal crossing the river. The water's open down there, so. Yeah, you can hear it running. Well, I mean, I'm going with the Uber. Well, folks, we're all cozied in here. Great Red Buffalo. He's Great Red Comfortable. Great Red Comfortable. Knuckles, he just went for a pee and he did a perimeter search for the Dungarvan Whopper and Whooper, Whooper, Dungarvan Whooper. No sightings. No sightings, good. Good stuff, buddy. No hearings, I guess. Just say. Good. I don't know if they see him or not. I don't know how that works exactly. <laughs>
What do you think of the hot tent experience there, Knuckles? And so far, so good. It's very cozy. Even with three people in here, it's not bad. Plenty of room. Yeah, even with Great Red Buffer. <laughs> Oh, yo, just so you guys know, Great Red Buffer and I, we have matching hats. Let me show you. you guys like mine? Yeah, we'll, we'll show you a cool picture tomorrow. Alright, we're going to bed and we'll see you guys when we get up in the morning. Do you want to say goodnight, Nick? Nickers? Goodnight, everybody. Yeah. Goodnight, everybody. My name's Great Red Buffalo. Thirteen point three. Not too bad. Minus 13.3 and then... Well, it's sitting on the ground, so it's, it's two degrees inside. So we'll get it. Yeah, like, that's about... It's probably what it was outside, to be honest. Minus 13.3. No, the indoor is off. Oh. It's probably about 10 degrees Celsius inside right now, so... On the ab. Are you ready? Alright. Where's the switch on here? You know it, folks. It's just a button. Well, where do I? Oh, there it is. Yeah. You gotta turn your headlight off. First. Yeah. There you go. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. You know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I failed. Ooh. Nick, what are you doing? Uh, Nick, what? what are you doing? I just uh, I was laying on this arm the whole time. I had to get off it for a sec. Mm. You look happy? Oh, uh, yeah, but I'll, I'm good now. I'm awake. I just... Okay, well, I, yeah. I kind of stole your coffee from me. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Do you want another coffee? Please. All right, folks, guess what? Guess what time it is? Since I'm still not a great chef, it's uh, time for the first edition of Coffee with Schwartz. I'm going to do a local coffee review, uh, or a local a review of a local coffee company here in New Brunswick. And uh, yeah, kind of cool. Um, today's coffee. Is brought to you by Salt Winds Coffee Company. These folks are out of uh, Douglas, New Brunswick. Check them out on Facebook and Instagram, and they have a uh, Facebook or a website, saltwind co saltwindscoffee.com. So my uh, brother-in-law had given this to me, so I don't know, it's kind of cool. The uh, thank you for supporting small business, buying local. From a small roast house in New Brunswick, Canada to your kitchen, Salt Winds has a vision to bring the clean flavors of coffees as they first came to Canada on wooden sailing ships. Using the best green bean... Yeah. Using the best green coffee beans and our own ocean air infusion and flavoring techniques, we are thrilled to be able to deliver that experience to you. So it's kind of cool. I think since uh, I'm a terrible chef and I like drinking coffee so much, I should review coffees and uh yeah it's kind of cool they uh come in this little bushel bush lap thingies yeah. burlap yeah that's what it's called bush lap and uh this one's called the uh, drunken sailor yeah there's the information and uh yeah pretty cool so yeah this one's called drunken sailor and we're gonna be drinking it I got one. Tastes like pine. Yeah, that's spruce. 
Or spruce jack. What, you've never had spruce pine tea? No? It's really good. It's really good for you. You know what? Cameraman's disagreeing with me right now. Alright, a review test of the coffee. It has the nice smell, aroma of man with beard and wooden ship. And a sense of ocean. Well, I don't know a thing about coffee reviews and how to be a coffee connoisseur yet, so that's a damn good coffee. <laughs> I uh, I guess I messed up already. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to watch some videos and learn how to truly test and, and get you some feedback on proper coffee reviews, but this coffee is awesome. It's local. Uh, I put in some hazelnut coffee cream and it's, uh, well, it's perfect. No complaints. Folks, disassembly has started and, well, here's our hole. Knuckles is digging back to China. Great White Buffalo is doing great, great White Buffalo things. Yay! I think energy levels are at an all-time high. These guys hungry. This guy's hungry too. He was supposed to cook his breakfast, yeah, he but he, breakfast. He, he, he into yeah, he you know individual. indulging us and filling our gullets. What did he do? He took a nap, so I stole his coffee and then, well. To be fair, his eggs were probably frozen. But his bacon would have been good. And it was right there by the stove. For you us. owe me a breakfast, sir. All right. You could have cooked the bacon if you wanted to. It was right there. We did have ready-made bacon. And that, you kinkus. Don't, don't mention these things. Don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. The moral of the story is I made chili last night and I took so much time and effort to prepare it and have everything for these guys. <laughs> it was a mistake giving him the ingredients, apparently. I got up and got the fire started this morning. <laughs> you attempted. Yeah, yeah, that was fun this morning. Uh, we had a bunch of birch wood to get the fire going again this morning and all oh, that stuff terrible we had to go find some better wood to burn well the boys did at least I, I tended the fire we had a great sleep uh any complaints on anybody's end from sleeping no. great right buffer row oh, yeah, is no, great right comfortable i, 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 I uh i turtled i could i cocoon he went cocoon knuckles yeah i slept all right sweet i slept like a baby and uh, yeah, anyways, folks, we're gonna get uh, taking things apart further, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the way out. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>